Thursday is Earth Day and President Biden will be hosting a global virtual summit to discuss the climate challenges facing all of us. A new CBS News poll out today finds a majority of Americans think climate change needs to be addressed right now. CBS News is devoting this week to an extensive look at the issue in our series Eye on Earth our planet in peril. We begin tonight off Canada's Atlantic coast where Wendy Gillette shows us how young harp seals are running out of time. This is a harp seal pup born on packs of ice near the Magdalen Islands in the Gulf of St. Lawrence in late February and March. <laughs> Most winters, the promise of a close-up view of newborns <laughs> draws tourists from around the globe. Kimberly Crusell traveled from Hawaii last year. It's just an amazing experience uh, from the ride out there to being just inches away from this liquid chocolate eyes to watching the adults singing to each other out on the ice. Most travel by helicopter to the ice where the pups are born. Their white fur serves a purpose so they can absorb sunlight and stay warm until they develop blubber. They lose their fur when they're about three or four weeks old. For centuries, demand for that fur was booming business, but bad publicity over the brutality of the seal hunt has taken a toll on the commercial sale of seal products, according to the director of the International Fund for Animal Welfare, which formed to fight the commercial seal hunt. We have over 36 countries around the world that have implemented trade bans on seal products. There are no longer any markets for seal products. Killing the white furred pups has been banned since 1987. Once devastated, the harp seal population has rebounded, now numbering more than seven and a half million. It's probably the highest it's been since about the 1850s, so it's overall it's a conservation success story. But today there's a new, more ominous threat. This year's tour season was canceled. The ice was too thin for choppers to land. It's the fourth cancellation since 2010. Why is this happening? We think overall it's, it's linked to climate change. Here in the Gulf, pilots say the changes are already obvious. Suddenly, yes, a few years there was, oh, we, we might have a problem there. There's no, not enough ice coverage. So yes, it is concerning and it's surprising. For the seals, melting ice is a matter of life and death. They need it to survive. It's where they give birth and spend their first few weeks. Without it, they'll be forced to head north, where predators await. But we don't have any polar bears in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, but if they have to move up the Labrador coast, uh, then they're going to run into polar bears much more often, and so that adds another mortality factor to them. <laughs> An uncertain future approaching fast. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, the Magdalen Islands, Canada. Wow, seems like there's no easy solution.